It is Friday, and that means time for another story focused on Mississippi from 12 News' Walt Grayson. But this one may be better suited for Halloween. And Walt, I understand you couldn't wait. No, because a documentary has just been released on what's been called one of the most haunted houses in America. And the reason we're featuring it on our Focused on Mississippi segment is it's right here in Mississippi. Take a look. It's a perfectly innocent looking A-frame house in Florence, Mississippi in a quiet neighborhood with quiet neighbors. And it's not all that old as far as typical haunted houses go, built in 1990. And for the record, I use the term haunted in its broadest sense. I don't know that there are ghosts in this house. That's up for debate. But what is certain is unexplainable phenomenon happens here frequently. And it started before the house was even finished. Well, as we were building it, building materials would disappear and come back. Uh, doors would slam when they built those before the entire house was finished. The doorbell would ring, nobody there. Objects would be placed other than where we put them. At first, owner Alice Jackson was reluctant to say anything about the house, but slowly the word leaked out, and slowly paranormal investigators came to see it for themselves. Brad Cooney was one, John Bullard another, and then the house caught the attention of nationally known paranormal investigator and film producer Steve Gonzales. And, you know, this started out because it just intrigued Steve, uh, and then obviously it built on top of itself, and this became something small, then bigger, and then it ended up to where we are today. And where we are today, a documentary has been released about the house, exploring the investigations that have happened here over the past decade, with expert witnesses offering either rational explanations for what's going on, or admitting there is no rational explanation. There's theories. I personally haven't figured it out yet, but it's fun documenting it. I just document it, put it out there, and, and let folks debate it. I think that the house has something to offer in that uh, there's some sort of explanation that we don't know yet, and I'm hoping that there will be. The documentary titled The House in Between is on pretty much any television platform that rents or sells movies right now. And it's kind of ironic that the story Alice Jackson didn't want to talk about at first has now gone international. Well, full disclosure, I am in the documentary because I've done some stories about the house, but the only pay that I got is a free copy of the movie. And the only thing I'll ever get out of it, no matter how many times it's rented or purchased, is I get a case of the willies every time I go back there. 